Good afternoon. This is MemphisWeather.net meteorologist Eric Proceus. It's at uh, noon on Saturday and decided to uh, give you a video forecast discussion for today. We've got some outdoor events going on, certainly some uh, large events. Uh, University of Memphis playing football this afternoon at the Liberty Bowl. There's a pretty big uh, music fest down at Tunica today. And with a couple of weather events around, we wanted to go ahead and just give you an update on what we're expecting for today. We do have a cold front that's moving into the area, and that's uh, going to be the major player in this weekend's weather. And this is a forecast surface map for this afternoon, uh, actually early this evening, 7 p.m. today. Um, and you see that front that we've been talking about for the last couple of days on the blog and on our social media channels uh, is going to be just to our west around 7 o'clock. It looks like that thing is going to pass through here between about 7 and 10 tonight. Uh, and that is going to be a big, a, be a bringing a big change to our weather. Uh, we've been used to humid and very warm conditions this week and that's all going to be uh, history by tomorrow at this time. Now we do have that front bringing showers and thunderstorms into the area so we'll be talking more about timing on that. And the other concern has been this week Tropical Storm Karen. Karen at 7 p.m. tonight is going to be moving up towards the southeast Louisiana coast and then it's going to be taking a hard right turn and going along the Gulf Coast during the day on Sunday. As far as severe weather is concerned, really not expecting too much in the way of severe weather as this front moves through, and that's mainly due to the timing of the front coming through after dark tonight. But you see, during the daytime hours, uh, there is a slight risk of severe weather that extends from the Midwest down into the Mid-Mississippi Valley and into Northeast Arkansas. The main threat uh, in Northeast Arkansas and anywhere around the Mid-South will be an isolated damaging wind gust. Otherwise, we really aren't expecting anything in the way of tornadoes around here. No hail is expected, just that isolated threat uh, for a strong wind gust with any storms that move through. I want to switch over and show you the current uh, surface map that we've got um, with radar, satellite, and uh, surface temperatures. We've got this large area of low pressure spinning up over South Dakota right here, and uh, the front extends from that down the Mississippi River and then back into the Ozarks. It's entered western Arkansas and then all the way back down through Texas. You see on south winds, these arrows pointing from the Gulf, we've got southerly winds and temperatures climbing into the 80s across the southeastern U.S. Back behind this front, though, look at these temperatures plummeting down into the 50s up here in Fayetteville, down to 52 at the top of the hour, and showers and thunderstorms out ahead of that. They're starting to break out as well here across central Arkansas. The other uh, point to point, uh, show you here is going to be uh, Tropical Storm Karen. She is located down south of southern Louisiana in the Gulf. There's a little bit of a spin right here, but you see most of the thunderstorms represented by these high clouds right through here are well to the east of the center of Karen. And that is because of all this dry air over the western Gulf and the front that's moving in. We expect that as Karen moves slowly to the north, she's going to be picked up by this front and then uh, shunted off across the eastern uh, or the northern Gulf of Mexico shunted east um, and bringing rain and thunderstorms to the Gulf Coast. It does not look like this is going to be a big wind maker. Uh, as a matter of fact, Karen is, is kind of falling apart over the last 12 hours or so, um, but certainly rain and thunderstorms across the Gulf Coast. If you're headed there uh, for the uh, latter part of this weekend, I think conditions improve rapidly by Monday, but Sunday will be a wet day along the Gulf. I do want to flip this over there and take a look at uh, the model data for the rest of today into tonight. And I'm going to bring this back to uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. And we are seeing the cold front is going to be right down here through about St. Louis, back towards about Little Rock. Um, showers and thunderstorms along that front, continued warm southerly winds, and just a slight chance uh, of some showers around this area. Now as we move forward through the afternoon, this is uh, 4 o'clock. You see the front is still back off to our west. Northerly winds, west, northwesterly winds pushing that front to the east. Um, a lot of uh, rain down to the south, but it looks like we still may be in a scattered thunderstorm type regime. Nothing organized. Um, so if you're going to the Liberty Bowl this afternoon, uh, may want to bring your poncho with you, but I don't expect any major downpours unless they're just localized in, a, uh, in an isolated thunderstorm. But hopefully most of that game stays dry. As we move forward now to 7 o'clock, you see the front uh, is right here where this uh, line kind of takes a dip. That's where the low pressure uh, is, is moving off to the south there. And basically it's right along the area. And here is the rain that is going to start forming um, in earnest back behind this front. And as we go back into the evening hours, here's 10 o'clock, you see that rain and shower, uh, some thunderstorms possibly uh, along and just behind that front. It looks like we're going to stay in a wet weather pattern throughout the night tonight. This is out to 4 a.m. and you see there's rain still falling across the area, but northwesterly winds and that's going to be pushing those temperatures down as we head through the nighttime hours. So it does look like we're going to be uh, sticking with a uh, 
uh, mainly wet forecast overnight, just scattered thunderstorms this afternoon. Here is the precipitation forecast through 7 a.m. tomorrow, and the Weather Service does give us quite a bit of rain, mostly overnight tonight. This is an inch to an inch and a half uh, over the Memphis metro, again, mainly during the overnight hours tonight. However, as we head into Sunday morning, if you're headed out for a run or going off to church in the morning, uh, there are still going to be a few showers around during the morning hours, and between 7 a.m. and 1 p.m., it looks like they're giving us about a tenth of an inch uh, in general for the uh, area. It's going to be tapering off as the morning goes along, so just some light rain, and clouds will actually be on the decrease by tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures look to hold in the 60s for the better part of the day tomorrow. That's about 20 degrees colder than uh, this afternoon, so we're definitely going to feel the effects of that front uh, during the uh, day tomorrow. And as we go out into the extended forecast, the front is going to bring beautiful weather. High pressure is going to dominate. This is a graphical forecast of uh, for the next week. What you're looking at here is cloud cover uh, and rain where we have the, the green colors. The time goes off to the right, and you see that basically at the end of the day, Sunday, those clouds are moving out, and Monday through Friday look mostly sunny throughout the week. Uh, those winds are going to be out of the west to north and then shifting around to the east and as we get towards the end of the week they'll be back out of the south again this is the temperatures down here at the bottom and you can see this line uh, represents the temperature staying between 60 and 70 for the better part of the day tomorrow dropping down to around 50 on Monday morning we'll see highs rebounding back up just into the lower 70s for the first couple of days next week and then back up towards 80 by weeks end but that's all cooler than we've had this last week simply gorgeous fall weather expected for the week ahead if we can just get through the next uh, 24 to 36 hours looking like a fabulous week if you're on fall break this week get out and find some things to do it's going to be beautiful weather and uh, you de definitely need to get out and enjoy it so stay with us on our social media channels we will have uh, information on twitter and facebook as well as our google plus page uh, during the day today we'll keep you apprised of any thunderstorms that are moving in if you're headed out you can follow our twitter feed and we'll keep you updated and uh, we'll bring, bring you the latest get the latest forecast on the memphisweather.net homepage as well as on our mobile apps on iphone and android you can get the radar there any push notifications for severe, severe weather should there be any um, and that will keep you updated as we head through the weekend again for memphisweather.net i'm meteorologist eric proceus hope you have a great week ahead